Hello, gang. Thought I'd start right away, since I'm probably going to have to do some technical checks, pre-flight checks, as it were. So let's just jump right in. Going to be checking things as I go, keeping an eye on things. Because last time we played this, it was a bit bitty, which isn't a bad thing, but not ideal. Just staring at it from from my own screen. It looks. Uh, oh, just clicked the wrong thing. There you go. on my screens it looks okay but you guys might be seeing something different well 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 if it isn't the gray mercy oh dear god we can't do that we can't make that a thing how do i sound cryo i've got a new mic um the sure mv7 uh, and it is very different from from how it usually is like from my previous one so I just want to check that it's good and working. Do I sound okay? And also, is the video okay? Sounds crisper than a fresh pack of hundred nuggies. Damn, that does sound crisp. not been resupplied at all, so that's okay. Ah! <laughs> Just... Notification received from access point. The, the music is a video looks clean like a tray of ten donkeys. Okay, so based on that scale that's pretty good. Um I've done a little bit of fiddling with the video and stuff like that and resolution, so my hope is that it will just it'll run a little bit smoother. I have a feeling that in these, like, um, very Ted Nucky Thief stream, yeah, I should change the stream title to Surreal 100 Nuggies Theme Stream. I said 10 Nuggies before that. I vote 100 out of 100 Nuggies. That's good. That sounds like a really good sign. Uh, how you doing as well? I thought I'd ask. I should ask. Ooh. I need to remember how to play this game. That was a mistake, but I've done it. Oh, I grabbed my little robot. Oh. Uh, did good pumping iron, can't stop yawning, must be sleepy. That's, I mean, fair enough, yeah. Uh, I gotta say, I've so this is the end of my first week of. Oh, hold on. Just noticed that the game music is way too loud, so I'm actually fighting it. Hold on, fighting it for for your attention, guys. I don't want to do that because let's be honest, this game is very interesting, uh, and I'm only kinda interesting. Uh, I'm gonna turn that down just quite a bit, quite significantly, so you can hear me. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, yeah, after my first week of gymming, doing a full gym, uh, I feel great. I feel so good. Like, I've had better energy than before. I'm, you know, I'm, I feel more enthusiastic and my, and my body just feels to work. It feels like it works better. It's insane how, how little I needed to, I mean, like, it's not that it's little, but like, how, how little I needed just to be running in a nice kind of way. So I love the gym. I'm, I'm so, I'm so in. Uh, Sender, Commander, there was something I forgot to mention prior to your sortie. Sortie? 
Uh, according to our analysis team, the equipment that was lost when breaking into the abandoned factory is still there. I've marked its estimated location, so be sure to pick it up next time you're in the area. Oh, is that... Um, that was my gear that I picked up. Cool. Uh, this message is intended for the verification of your mail account. Members who encounter problems with the mailing system should contact their supervisors as soon as possible. Please verify your email so that we can know that you are there. <laughs> Um, let me check my quests. I have a quest. Uh, weapons dealer's request. Weapons dealer resistance camp can't perform sex uh, repairs because of a broken maintenance device. Can be fixed with materials found in the center of the city ruins. Uh, but machine life forms from in the area viciously attack anyone who comes near. Go secure the necessary materials. I've done that. The weapons trader has reopened his shop to express his thanks. He gives you some upgrade materials. All oh, right, and he told me to come back later. Yeah, can't perform sex. Dang, a hey. sucks to suck, right? Oh, these are both completed. They have that tick. Cool. All right, I have learned. How do I run? <laughs> I've forgotten everything. I did it again. I did that thing again where, literally. Ah, oh, there we go. I've, I figured it out. Don't worry, guys. I learned. I have learned. I am a learning robot. Oh, wrong one. B is to interact. Okay. Again, learning robot. Be kind. Is it? Hmm. Also, okay, so that's... Yeah, I'm pretty much relearning everything because it's been a while since we've played because we we missed playing last week because I can't remember what was happening but I wasn't able to play. Which I'm very disappointed about because this is a really cool game. Okay, dodge is... Wait a second, are my controls changed? Because B used to be dodge. Hold on. Hold on? No, no wonder I was getting confused. That and the whole being... My custom. Yeah, it's different. This isn't my controls. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That one. Fire, because it's, it's gun. <laughs> Classic controller reset, yes. Yeah, sorry gang, we're going to have to do this, because... No wonder I was like was so confused right at the start, because my con the controls were completely different from how I'd set them up last time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then interact. I, I think I made interact one of these two. Uh, I'm going to make action LB. I think I did that last time, and I was like, this will take me a while to get used to. Um, and and it would do. So, cool. Uh, all right. I'll need to check that next time I play again now, because I, I'm, like, I'm sure I saved that. Um yeah, again, already so much, so much easier. So much easier to play. I love that. I was just like, why is this? I feel like I haven't played this game in ages, and I feel like a big dumb idiot. And then <laughs> quickly realize, oh, the controls are all fucky. Controls are all wrong. And that's why I didn't know how to run. Ah, oh, she got a butt. <laughs> my the neuron activation as the camera pushes my uh, pushes down, so that I end up staring at the boot. So, gang, I'm gonna be exploring. It's just the kind of mouse I am. I like to explore. 
I'm an explorer. A little bit. She runs fast in heels, which I feel like is a monolithic task on its own. I will admit, there's one thing, like, I, I dislike the default camera position, where it's just slightly down. I don't know something about it, because, I mean, I'll admit, I was that kid who, like, feel like, uh, will move when, when avoiding damage in, in a game. I'll like, or if I'm in a driving game, I'll actually like tilt. Sorry guys, and that probably sounds terrible. Like the audio for that was probably terrible. Me moving just away from the mic and disappearing. You got an adventure mouse? An adventure mouse. Oh shit, hold on. Just realized something. I'm in the wrong skin to an explorer mouse. Ah, hold on. Hold on, gang. Got the wrong skin on. Uh, and then that. A rescuer. <laughs> rescuer down under. Maybe? Or... No. <laughs> no. Takes me very little time to make these... Uh, models for my for my mouse um, but I always wait till the last minute to make new ones because I'm lazy <laughs> there's no there's no excuse for it I'm just lazy like a classic mouse hero is the rescuers yeah rescuers down under I've never watched it I'll admit and I don't want to be that guy but it may have just I may have been in the wrong time like, either before my time or after my time, all I know is that it wasn't my time. This is where 9S jumped off, I think. I have, but it was made in 1977. Okay, so cool. It was definitely before my time. In that case. Because... Yeah. But then again, I also didn't watch many, like, kids' movies growing up. I watched, like, um, I watched, like, The Goodies and Monty Python as a kid. So that's why I have such a warped sense of humor. The rat was spoopy. I've heard that. I've heard Rescuers Down Under has some very, like, scary uh, animation and stuff like that. I should watch it, not because I'm, not just because I'm a horror buff or anything like that, but because I'd be curious to see what all the hype is about. You know, that, that fear that people feel for the spooky rat. Up we go. Oh, camera. Playing a dangerous game here. Ah, oh, free stuff, nice. Silver ore? Or what? Ooh hee! More silver ore, that's cool. Uh, 100 Nugs and the Rescuers Movie Marathon. Ooh, that'd be fun. That would be fun. I'm down. Is that the desert? No, that doesn't look like the desert. The hell is that, though? Oh, I thought it was a big robot. Oh, it is a big robot. <laughs> it's a big robot. He's a big... He's just a, he's just a funny little guy. I mean, funny big guy. Could start fishing, but... I'm not going to. This isn't Final Fantasy. I don't need to just get lost in the fishing mis min fishing mini game. Wow. Still so bad with words. Ulgrimus, did you by chance see your gym photos? I did. They look fantastic. It really like it's hard to kind of comprehend uh, through 
like text and and words and stuff so like it really shows the 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 cut has i like your cut g it's like so good yeah you're killing it i'm gonna let him be i feel like he's just a silly little guy this is a silly little guy like me how could i ever kill creatures that are like me you know just silly little guys uh don't change you just be yourself. The cut will continue for a few weeks. Yeah! I'm keen to see what um, what happens in the next few weeks. With You want to hit 95 kilograms? That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah keen to see what these next few weeks will, will bring. Because, like... Would you say that the larger part of the cut has is done? Like, so... Because you've had more time uh, on it. So like a good portion of the changes happen so it might be incremental change that we see in the next cryo update or do you think like sky's the limits uh unless you get bored of it that's also fair so basically another five kilograms 10 kilograms down so far okay awesome so yeah it will be like that look, sounds like it would be a quite noticeable um change so cool i'm keen I'm keen to see the updates, like, as someone who's just started their gym journey, it's very motivating to, to see your work. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of your work. It's, uh, it, yeah, just genuinely makes me feel motivated to, to keep at it. And I definitely don't need to, I like, I'm not going to cut uh, anytime soon. I might bulk one day, uh, just because I'm a very skinny mouse. Kind of figure so a cut would be not uh, ideal for me but I love to see love to see what you're getting up to because it's giving me a better idea of what I should be doing the more I lose now the more deaf uh, you think you'll take it take it slow for sure that's fair uh, but the more I lose the more definition will show yeah absolutely I definitely saw like a fair amount of like definition in the after photos as well that you showed it's really cool um because personally your arms look bigger but your arms measure smaller yeah that makes sense um not super beneficial the best thing to do is build routine yeah absolutely and i think this first year is just all about routine i'm doing mostly uh ooh, mostly like general like general gym fitness and stuff like that and once I get more confident I'll probably book a PT session so that I can learn fundamental like forms for free like free weights like deadlifting and and RDLs and things like that but yeah until then I'm just trying to work on being confident at the gym and things like that uh, for some reason your back looks like it has abs that's cool that's awesome <laughs> That's definition, baby. Have you ever watched... Is it Barkai or Baki or whatever? Which is basically just a big anime about big dudes. Alert. Machine life forms detected. Confirmed to be high energy and equipped with dangerous... I ain't gonna head back. Um, but yeah, I think it's Baki. But yeah, basically just super ripped muscular dudes. And the way the animator or illustrator defines or oh, fuck defines like muscle mass and muscle definition uh is like his characters have like abs on their back so clearly it shows that that's like the most defined muscle formation like the most muscular you can be is if you got abs on your back babs if you will yeah i do love it yeah <laughs> yeah I think gym go like gym dudes so far that I've seen have are either into one of three mangas I think, which is like Berserk, Bakai, uh, Bakai or Baki, and um, Kobe can't communicate. <laughs> I think Baki's pretty wild, uh, completely un unrealistic but very motivating. Yeah, that's fair. 
Hello, shop. You're from Yorha, right? I've heard about you guys. Matt Mercer. You've got a squad mate waiting in a rocky stretch up ahead. Head on over. Just remember that there's nowhere to resupply out there. Okay. If you need anything, best to take care of it here while you can. What can yeah. I help you with? Um, I might buy some health items then, if you're um, you're selling. I get I get five. Yeah. I got all those. Uh, yeah. Matt Mercer, I love you, but stop harassing me when I least expect it. Yes, I'm sick and tired of hearing you here, Matt Mercer. I love you to bits, but... Why are all non-androids Matt Mercer? Because <laughs> that's all that survived out there. All that survived in this. You and Liam, yeah, exactly. You can't get, like, five meters in uh, Fallout New Vegas without running into Liam. But I do love it. I love that he kind of has like maybe two different voices, and then from there he's just like, "Ah, oh, just be, just be me, just be Liam O'Brien." Man. Of oh, no mind. All of our brave oh no, he is human. Currently, all humans are voiced by Matt Mercer. Please. Don't be violent, my friend. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. I knew that the humans were on the moon, right? Those council broadcasts are always so stiff. All right, mate. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Hello? You... you got little red eyes, so I feel like you're not friendly. G'day, mate. I'm gonna go and pet him. Hi, mate. How you doing? We're a little lost. We could use some directions around town. Mwah. I mean... <laughs> He's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> Hey, is not tall of it? Hey, man, how you doing? So tall. <laughs> so svelte. <laughs> we decided to design a robot that is basically just really long. He's a really long boy. Uh, I heard Liam in Horizon Zero Dawn in one of the expansions, and it, you couldn't unhear it. Destroyed your immersion. Ah, uh, she... fair. I can respect that. Like, once you once you realize it's them, then you're just like, oh shit, it's one of the Critical Role crew. I heard, I was playing Dragon's Dogma recently, and I heard um, Sam Regal, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> That's two-time Emmy Award winning Sam Regal. And then I couldn't, I couldn't take the character seriously, because I knew it was Sam Regal, and I heard him talking about pooping on the floor and um, which is what I assume most people feel like when they hear me talk you know it's like if they hear me out in the wild because I do actually do voiceover work and stuff they're just like wait a second <laughs> isn't that that guy I don't think I ever noticed Sam Regal in a game his voice is a little bit more subtle I will admit but um I think now because of the new campaigns and stuff, it's slightly easy to pick up. Oh, these guys are fucking tough. I just probably shouldn't be in here. Well, maybe I should. I don't know. We'll find out. They attacked us. Ah, fuck. Oh, Jesus. They are level 13, so... Oh, yeah, because my I have a thing that... That actually, like... Uh, heals me if I get too low. Oh, shit. 
Uh, sorry, I was very immersed in that. I don't think, uh, I would, wouldn't only imagine the cube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cube, that is pretty defining, isn't it? I wipe a single tear from my eye and wipe the poo from my bottom. Can I get up there? Let me in! <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit up there. Trying to figure it out. Feel like this maybe isn't the way. But it could be the way. I don't think it's the way. I'll admit, I don't think it's the way. I'll find my way there. I'll figure it out. Where did I come from? This way. This way. Yeah, but it is like once you reckon... So... Once you recognize a voice actor, it's like so hard to not hear them and stuff. Like for me, the Persona 5 voice cast and stuff is really... Anytime I hear them anywhere, I'm just like, oh shit, it's... It's Makoto or whatever. Oh, was I just punching? That entire time I was just punching? Wow, no wonder it took so long. Um... But yeah, like, yeah, anytime I hear, or Robbie, who was then in the third campaign of Critical Role, who voices Akechi. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> That's Akechi. <laughs> He's that guy. I'm not going to spoil anything for Persona, because I might end up playing it on this stream. Or I might not. But um, either way, don't want to spoil it for people, because this is a near stream. I don't need to talk about Persona, which is weirdly one of my favorite games to play. But because you do so little in it, you know, for a majority of it, it's a lot of just, like, existing as a, a teen in Tokyo. But I like that. It's a lot of fun. Now that I'm no longer a teenager, it's nice to reminisce. <laughs> that happens, right? It's like, that's a normal experience for us mid-twenties and, and beyond folk. Right? <laughs> Tears in my eyes. I got no emotions for this uh, model, so I can't go to the crying one. <laughs> can't go to the crying little model because I just don't have him. Not for my 2B model. I don't want to hit these guys, they're just silly little dudes. Oh, he's going to fight me. Ah, fuck. Spent that entire time just not dodging. Which is real stupid of me, because I should be dodging. <laughs> that simple. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, you listen here, you son of a bitch. Wait. <laughs> oh, was it because of the, the aging thing? Because I... I feel like we can all understand it. Sure, I'm only 25, but don't make me laugh while I'm holding a weight. It's dangerous. Well, don't don't make it so easy to make you laugh. I don't do it on purpose. It's just the existence that I have been cursed with. I'm just a very funny, whimsical little dude. You know, it's just who I am. I can't stop stop being funny. I tried once, and it just. The well, life wasn't for me. I studied science for four years to try and stop being funny, and I was cursed. Cursed with my existence. My humor is just too, too prime. Hey, I have that, have a constant smile, and it hardly take a, a woof of a fart to make you giggle. Yeah, well, that's always that's like a nice life to live. Things make you laugh really easy. That's perfect. Because then, you're always entertained. 
and it makes my life easier because then it, you know, I get an audience where people are very easily entertained. I studied quantum physics. Okay, you beat me there. <laughs> you beat me there. I definitely didn't study that. It's maths or science. Uh, you're just like, cool. All right, I'm going to be less funny, but it actually just makes you more funny. Somehow. You just end up being funnier because you're like... You can articulate the mysteries of the universe, and instead you decide to be like, poop. Lol. Oh, that guy was still alive. I mean, is still alive too. Jesus. Uh, for four weeks, it was very interesting. Science, science math is the best. Yeah. You gotta do some sort of STEM. Because it's interesting. Even if it's, like, a social science, I, like, I was gonna say even if it's a social science, but, like, social sciences are actually really quite interesting. Uh, is, robot, is a robot alive? I, ooh, that's a tough question. I often say no, just because, um, uh, I, di I distrust robots. I got a stem you can do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is a cutscene in this little pipe? Welcome to the desert. To be. Here is your reward. Big bag of poop. Ah, shit. I could have stained it in the green area. For the big bag of poop. Sorry about that, but that is how it is. The secrets of the desert cannot be uncovered in the cool. You must venture out to the sandy plains and find me some poop. What the hell am I... Hold on, let's just take a moment and... What am I here for? <laughs> It's on a level higher. It's on a higher plane. Thus? Do you guys know where it is? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, how do I get up there? Is it in the wall? Was it just a person that I just ignored? <laughs> Was I just ignoring a person and... And... Yes, I was just ignoring a person. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm stupid. Our leader told me all about you. Whoa! Name's Jackass. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to I meet you too, Jackass. To take out all the machines in the desert? Guess huh? that means we need to get that entrance open. Looks like it. So, um, <laughs> Jack Ass? What Jack is... Ass. Uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well. We oh, Jesus. We getting tangled up in that, now would we? Jesus Christ! Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? Probably respond to these messages. Name's Marisha Ray, yeah. <laughs> It took me a moment, and then I was like, wait a second. It's just the entire cast of Critical Role. We're just voicing every character. It's a sealed gate with explosives. There's got to be an easier way, right? I mean, yeah, probably like a hinge or something, but does it matter? More like Marisha. <laughs> no, wait, I thought you could say more like Marisha Jackass. Hello. No, they're, I mean, they're hostile now. They may not have been hostile before, but they are now. And they won't be in a second, but... <laughs> those motherfuckers, yeah. Just put a hinge on it and a lock. If the robots are gonna get in, or want to get in, they're gonna get in somehow. They're robots. You know? Like, they'll program their way in. It's gonna happen. So just put a hinge on the door and then some locks. Marisha sleeves a bullshit ray. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
one hell of a legacy there, Marisha. Sleeves are bullshit and I am jackass. They'll hack it. Yeah, they'll hack they'll hack the lock. Just make it a really simple lock. Like uh, this sand sure is slippery. Key lock. Stop complaining, 9S. It's sand. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. It's coarse and it's rough. And hey, guess what? It gets everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Marisha basically goes, right? And these machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why, though. Ah! Fuck! Healing thing. Thank you. That's actually a really useful little, like, uh, modifier thing. Oh, basic. Oh, yeah, we're basically gods. I was like, that's maybe a reference I don't get. Basically goes. Yeah, we're basically gods. Jumps off. Cliff. Goldfish. That's insane. I've always, like, I can't fathom people who just do whatever they like in D&D, &D, because in my head I'm always, like, I'm always so careful, even in D&D. &D. Ah, oh, getting hit. Getting hit. Got him. Got him. Fire the gun. Oh, what am I targeting? That actually is such a good, like, piece of kit for me. If I'm getting hit, then I may as well just heal. Yeah, like, I still try to be as sensible as possible when I play in a, like, D&D &D campaign. So anytime I see someone who's just like, oh, I'm gonna do this thing. And it's like, it may not work. Oh well. And I'm like, ah man, I get too attached to characters to, to be that laissez-faire with, with my characters. Whoa, he's jumping. Oh, he ran. It's heading for that rocky area. Individual target ID marked. Get him. This motherfucker made it personal. Get him. Oh, got a torch. <laughs> Locked in. Initiating new quest. Wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. I like to cause a little chaos, but once combat starts, I love to strategize. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that completely. I always feel like... I mean, I'm going to be a goofball, but it's going to be a goofball in a, in a safe What's that? kind Analysis. of range. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans reside Very much like to use the environment to my shelters. advantage. Yeah, Those and I really like, to by names such as I really like when a DM complex. will uh, include, like, environmental Report. kind of Mail notification received from uh, options form. when it comes to combat or or things like that. It's not happened a lot, but also if you if you got the ingenuity for it, then anything can be a weapon. That's why I also like monks. I like monks a lot because then you can really like play around with that idea that you could use whatever, like anything, to cause damage and chaos. Gotta love monks. Gotta be one of my favorite... <laughs> one of my favorite classes. Cleric is also one of my favorite classes. This is why I like magic users. That's fair. Torn book. Cool. Um, yeah, my three fa... Oh, actually. It's hard to narrow down my favorite classes. I was going to say my three favorite classes are. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, 
it does vary. Uh, because I try and find a way to use magic borderline correctly. Yeah. One of my first playthroughs, I played a druid. Well, uh, a multi-classed into druid character. But my kind of ideal concept was that he had, like, pretty basic magic. But he used it in effective effective and, like, very strange ways. Uh, like, to optimize it in combat and stuff like that. My most memorable was using Reduce and Large on a door. We couldn't get in and shrunk it out of the frame. That's excellent. Yeah. I, yeah, this, this druid character, he used to carry around bags of flour because he had very weak fire attacks. And basically, like, because if you throw... If flour dissipates into the air and you light it on fire, it uh, causes this just fireball. So he used to do that, and he'd basically start a fight by throwing flour into the air. Um, and then he'd create this, like, field of, of just floating, dissipating flour. And then it was just this, like, waiting period to see if he actually, like, lit it or not. And because he was a tiefling, he had fire resistance. So, he would have been, you know, hurt, but fine, in the end. Whereas everybody else would have very much suffered. And I like that. I thought that was fun. Sliding around a lot. I'm a slidey boy. These heels are not good for traction in the desert, funnily enough. Frickin' stick. Torn book. Whoa. Lockdown. Cocked on. <laughs> I know where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm not going to be going that way because I want to go this way. Ah, oh, dang it. I can't open that. Let me in. I want your goods. I want your good shit. Give it to me. I want, I want it. I want that delicious, delicious goods. Okay, gym done. Nice. How, how long did you spend at the gym? Out of curiosity. What's your average gym going time? Too tired for sled push and cardio. That's fair. You've done enough. You should take the day. I was here for about 90 minutes or so. Nice. That's very impressive. Target confirmed. Let's get him. Ow. Um, yeah, that's very impressive. I'm currently going for about th 30, 40 minutes. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Don't take damage. Yeah. But yeah, I'm only going for about 30 to 40 minutes now. Getting more and more, like, get better and better, but then also I go in the morning, so it's like there's only so long I have before I have to go to work, and I don't want to get up too early to go to the gym, not yet. <laughs> Just gonna keep tripping. None is quite fast for you. That doesn't surprise me, honestly. Sounds like you would have quite a. Uh. Not long, but, you know. Thorough gym routine. Ah, fuck. Just getting punched. Move. I'm sorry, robots. No. Robots. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's a big guy. Uh, 
I don't want to target him, target him yet. He seems mean. Uh, yeah, but I have a substantial rest between sets. That's fair. But that's also responsible. Also, like, ten different exercises. No, that's impressive. He's coming for us. Watch out. Oh, because there's a... There's a little guy... Attached to this big guy. I mean... So, I mean, it's a few little guys. What a cool group activity to be doing. With your mates and stuff. You just, like, become a big dude. We'll be back in a moment. Fair enough. All good. All good. Oh, I should still be shooting. Got him. It always says, like, LB just before a kill. And I assume it's to do, like, a killing blow or whatever. But my instincts tell me that it's just like tell it to beg for mercy or whatever and I'm just like I don't want to do that sounds fucking horrible that sounds really mean run run uh, not this way. oh he's just a sweet little guy he's this goofy little dude he's this silly little dude oh no I feel so bad I don't want to hurt this guy. He seems. What makes them choose these words? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because they got a soul, and they don't want to be s dead. Range defense up obtained. Oh, there's nothing there. Um, I feel bad. I don't want to kill this guy. He seems like just a little silly little guy, and we know how much I love silly little guys. beginning to feel doubts about uh, committing murder on these robots. I don't I I don't know what it is about them, but they've got a got a vibe that I dislike the idea of snuffing out. Oh dear. It's a lot of these dead androids. Android bodies. Hypothesis. They were killed by local machine life forms. What are they doing here? Unknown. It's like they were gathered here. Deadly heal obtained. What the heck is that? Uh, what is it? Deadly heal. Deadly heal. Cardboard pod. Wait a second. It's a pod skin. Wait, I got pod skins. Um, equip that one. That was cute. Hasn't. I mean, I can't be sure of the difference. You am returned. Welcome back, Creo. Just looking at my items because I have not actually paid attention to any of these things. Cardboard pod. My little guy is made of cardboard. I actually don't like that skin. I'll be honest. Not my favorite. Not my favorite of the skins. Hey, nice items. Yeah. They are nice items. I wish I'd paid attention <laughs> to these. Uh, I'm gonna go... Red pod. Retro red. Oh, a sweet little guy. I'm looking for... Something called deadly heal. But then I got distracted. I don't seem to be able to find it here. Is it a... Enhancement item? Nope. Is it... A weapon? No. Is it a skill? Uh, is it a plug-in? So confused. Shockwave 2. Add a shockwave to weapon attacks. Plus 2. Counter. Dead. Oh, it is. Recover 5 HP for every enemy defeated. That actually sounds really good. Uh, I'm going to do that. That sounds great. That's a lot of space that I'm using. A lot of storage on my hard drive. 
but that's a really useful skill. If I've got two different like healing things, that should actually be really useful to me. Because I sometimes get hurt a lot. What do you think, 9S? 9S is like, ugh. Can I <laughs> smell your feet? Sorry, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> They'd probably smell like nothing. Let's be honest, they're androids. They smell like sand, probably. Max HP up obtained. Ah, shit. That sounds good, too. I'm not going to use that one. I'm not going to add that in yet. Not unless I need it. Because I feel like there's going to be a big fight coming up. There it goes. They don't give up. Run. Run. <laughs> Must run. Don't want to hurt you. I want to just hang out. Talk some. They'd just be goofy little guys together. This is a battle room. Come on. You think Multiple I'm stupid? Detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. I don't know. Maybe it's something that killed a bunch of androids. Come on, 9S. Catch up. If I can keep up, mate. Jesus, it's not that complicated. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Oh dear. That's creepy or really sad. What is this? Don't listen to them, to be. Together forever. Together forever. Carry me. Carry me. They don't have any feelings. They're just imitating human speech. Let's take them out. Are you sure, mate? I don't feel okay with that decision, man. Oh, now that now they're hostile. What? Ah, oh, fuck. Targeting. Targeting. Targeting goalies. Wah. Just gotta keep dodging. Keep seeing a little, little red nut migraine line. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of them, Jesus. Get up. Oh, there's a lot of them, Jesus. They just got more, there were just more and more of them, that was so many. We survived. <laughs> oh no. It's a big, it's a big rat king of robots. <laughs> it's gonna be us at PAX. <laughs> it's, it's me and the boys at PAX. <laughs> this year. <laughs> this is me, uh, me and the boys after we've eaten a hundred nuggies. Wait a second. An android? <laughs> no. This. Horrors. <laughs> this is a machine. Whoa! Smooth like a Ken doll. Sephiroth. Okay. Ah, oh, well, we're fighting it. Wait, he's leveling up. We don't want that. Very interesting. Fight. I 
keep forgetting you can just hold Storm. down the attack button. Dodge. And and then it, he's learning. Deflect. I think he's evolving. We yeah, of course, he's learning. Quick. You can just hold down attack. He's a learning robot. He's smart AI. Oh, shit. And I am not smart AI. He is smarter than I. Alright, see ya, mate. Put some pants on. We fell down this hole. Now he's throwing shit at us. Get back down here. You freaking nerd. Get down here. Oh, we went. Oh, it fucking just kicked me. So I just needed to recover. Oh, Jesus. Jesus! Fucking murdered that dude. Murdered that penisless man. Is this really a machine? <laughs> Using my hand to cover cover up his well actually I'm not covering anything. It's, it's just Smooth like a Ken doll again. He's back. Not another one. You know what? I just say we give up. Just let him let him do it. Live his life. To let me. We gotta get out of here. Let him just you know exist. He's taking his other body. Oh dear. Oh, he just got crushed. Come on, through that hole. Through that hole. Quick. Time to go, 9S. My dear friend, not anything more. Just a friend, buddy. Huh. Actually, friend is also a stretch. You're just some guy I've met out in the desert. Well, oh. On Earth, really. Not even the desert we met before then. Even. It stopped. Looks like we're safe now. You're not even really a guy, you're an what android. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Kinda just this dude. Just this existing thing. Like me. <laughs> Putting too much thought into that. Questioning everything. About who 9S is. Let's move to an area with better reception so we can contact command. Hey, cool, small recovery. I'm gonna need a few more of them because I've used quite a few of them during that fight. Ah, oh, now I know where we are. Thanks for the help, 9S. Hey, thanks for the help, 9S. For, for a white knight, you really don't do a whole lot of helping. Freaking. This freaking guy. And he's got a gold katana. The worst. This dude's the fucking worst. Hate him. His, his little droid as well is a little confused, but he's got the spirit. Okay, this is good. 
We should be able to reach command here. 9S to bunker. Do you copy? I read you, 9S. Go ahead. Operator, we, uh... We just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them. But I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Hmm. We couldn't. This is all really shaky footage. Oh, it's like that um, Jedi Fallen Order map. Bloody terrible map. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, free thing. I didn't spend. I didn't really like explore a lot of the desert. Desert. I think I accidentally found the right droid, and then we just chased him. Which is fine, but wasn't my intention. I might go back and just explore the desert a little bit, even though it's not the critical path. Oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's my weekend, and I'm, I've am i got no plans, which is very sad of me, but i got no plans. So, might just doddle about, do some drawing. Might go to a nice cafe, maybe. Treat myself. Though, definitely, gym in the morning. <laughs> oh, there's a hole! Ah! <laughs> I almost didn't pull my chute. This top-down camera is so disorienting for me. I don't know where I'm going, who I am. Hi there. watch my Dead Space stream, you know how disoriented I get by <laughs> different angles and how easy it is to disorient the mouse just by changing the angle ever so slightly. You turn a Rubik's Cube slightly and I'm confused. Like, you can't do that to me. Medium recovery. Nice! <laughs> you can't do that to me. I'm stupid. I'm simple. I'm a simple creature. I don't have those fangled human abilities like object permanence and three-dimensional perception just got you know rat vision and I'm really good at solving mazes that's about it 200 G <laughs> I gasped that I almost like coughed like almost choked on my gasp sorry guys That's not very uh, poggy off me. Is this where we came in? Sort of? No? Yes. Kind of. Gonna go back in the hole. <laughs> the explorer in me wants to see what, where this all leads. I got some copper. Got some copper, copper. Okay, so we got here. Uh, I think I came from this way. Vaguely, but I can't be sure. This is a lock. Let me in. Please. Not you. 9S. What, would you not just be here? I think I can't get through there. I need like a key. A specific key for things like that. being rewarded for dodging. I, was, I like that a lot about this game, is that it rewards me for dodging. It gives me like a moment of bullet time, which is very cool. And if I do it successfully, it's, it's, the game is just like, 
Good boy. And I'm like, ha ha. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Or as in Dark Souls, it's like, or well, any Souls-like game, you dodge and they're just like, good work, you did, you did the bare minimum, and I'm just like, oh, I love these games, but please, reward me, praise me, <laughs> praise me for what I've done. That's an exit. I want to continue in this deep hole where my levels of disorientation are very high, because I want rewards and gifts given upon to me as if I were some sort of uh, rat prince. <laughs> and I want levels, because I, I love just being, you know, in areas of the game according to the main mission. And they're just like, well, you're actually too powerful for this area now. Uh, so, nice. Here you go. You just these fights are really easy. I love that. I love that in games because it feels like I earn, I I like earn that. <laughs> it's like a reward that I earned. I love it. Exit. Continue back into the cave. I love it here this cave. Cave of wonders. And potential free loot. I think if you met me in real life you would learn quite quickly that I am very easily swayed by free stuff. If I'm told that the animal bait if I'm told that there will be free stuff, I'm there. Tundra G, nice. That could be the most minimal thing ever. Um, but if it's something like, oh hey, you'll get like a free t-shirt for this, you know, for this hummus brand, I'll be like, hey, I'm there. I like hummus. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with the desert. I'm done with the desert. We're good. We can move on. <laughs> Anytime I devolve into talking about hummus, then I'm just like, cool, I have spent enough time in an area. a little socializing tip for all you introverts out there. If you find yourself talking about something superfluous or clearly something that no one's going to be interested in, even though hummus is very interesting, then you know that you've talked Say too TV? much and you've been talking too much. Talk about so you just move. end the conversation and you just leave and then uh, you've had an adequate amount of conversational to time. To resupply and conduct maintenance? Um, return to re the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance. Uh, sure, why not? All right, let's go. I didn't back. really use up too many resources. Don't lie. What do you mean, the hummus thing? About the hummus thing? If you hear me talking about hummus for like thirty minutes, you wouldn't be like, "Well, this conversation's over." I feel like some people would be polite and just listen to me, but I'd, hummus isn't interesting. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna sit here really sadly. <laughs> you don't think hummus is interesting? Ah! These guys, tell you what, these guys don't think hummus is interesting. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. That's probably quite loud. Me screaming. You don't need that. Don't need that much sound. Hummus isn't interesting. Damn, you got me. I don't think hummus is interesting either, but if you end up talking about it for a really long time, then you're probably in some trouble. 
conversation wise. Zoom. We're gonna return to the resistance camp and everyone's gonna be like dead. Uh because those those machines were like lol gotcha. Shit. Those machines will be like lol gotcha. Um we killed all the humans, so. I mean, I should use Hummus' Moisturizer. I mean, I don't see why not. We, all, we use all sorts of weird things as Moisturizer these days. So Hummus, because it's good for you, surely. It's just not going in your mouth, you know? So it still gets absorbed into your system. I don't see why not. <laughs> there you go. I'm advocating for it. If you want... To rub hummus on your skin, do it. Yippee! I descend. I know exactly where that joke is going there. Cryo, you s son of a bitch! I heard, I heard chickpea on your face. It's great. That's the joke that, like. Oh, subquests. You can accept subquests from clients marked as BWIP all over the world. Subquest destinations are indicated as BWIP on the map. Mini map. Okay. That's like the legume. What's the difference between a legume and a chickpea? And I've never had a legume on my face. Is that what you're telling me? Ah, it's you! Anemone! Anemone! I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. <laughs> we don't have much to offer in thanks, but I've readied a room for you here. Oh. Oh. I don't really sleep. Do I? It's the least we could do. Feel free to use it however you like. You realize you've just given an android a room. You're gonna, like check in on me and I'm just going to be standing in a corner. Hey, thanks. No, 9S. They gave me a room. They didn't give you a room. They gave me a room. Yeah, yeah nice. Small recovery. Okay, thanks. Very social of you, mate. I better check out this room. They wouldn't just tell me about this room and then it not be important or useful. Pretty big. You sure it's okay for us to get a room like this? Us. Again. We have permission, remember? Plus, we'll probably be stationed here for a while, so a bed won't be go amiss. You're sleeping outside. Guess there's no point in turning it down. This isn't your room, 9S. Nope. Vault proof salve. Okay, I assume that's for electrical damage. Small recovery. I love a small recovery. Small G luck plus. Oh, cool. You can sleep in this bed far away from me, and I'll sleep in that one. If I hear any noise in the night, I'm going to be very concerned. Do I want to take a break? Yeah. No. Get out of here. 9S. 9S. Piss off. Do you want to save? You know what? Why not? I did just save moments ago. Do you want to continue the game? Ah, okay, cool. So this is just a save point where I can come in and save and leave if I felt like it. Get out of my face. 9S. <laughs> I hate you. Never disliked a... Actually, that's not true. I'm not even going to continue that joke. <laughs> I hate on characters all the time. You're with your her, aren't you? This is the maintenance shop. I service and consult on types of android bodies. Can I help you with anything? Um, ask for advice. I have been making this noise when I pee. <laughs> Why does it burn when I pee? Uh, 
Oh, right. That's cool. Oh, I need things. <laughs> I don't know what any of this does, so... Cool, but like... I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be against getting more storage. Honestly, like, I wouldn't... I might get more storage, because those, like, things are so useful. Sorry, I just got an email. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Add a weak shockwave to weapon attacks. Add a slightly weak shockwave to weapon attacks. Um... I'm going to leave that for now. I don't. Because you can greatly increase your combat abilities with just a few tweaks here and there. If you obtain any new chips or programs, make sure to try them out. I'm actually going to ask for advice. What would you like advice on <laughs> motion sickness? Uh, Android bodies. Android is Android bodies are just that. Bodies that belong to your androids. There are two ways to enhance them. Experience points or plug-in chips. Everyone knows that what experience points are, so I'm not going to waste your time with a long-winded explanation. Fair enough. Uh, plug-in chips are items that enhance bodies. They can have various functions. However, we recognize that the process can be a tad confusing, and we don't want to we don't want you rage quitting over it. Oh shit, that's me. They're talking to me! So I can actually recommend a chip setup based on what you're carrying right now. Want to give it a try? Yeah? What do I want to focus on? Attack, baby. Got you. I'll set you up right away. Wait, are you actually just going to change my setup? Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> are you going fiddling with my chips? Don't go fiddly with my chips. Damn it. What do you what do you do to me? <laughs> What'd you do to me? Oh, why'd I let her do that to me? <laughs> oh, she she fucking filled my storage space. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Why'd you do that to me? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Jesus. Um I hate oh these are HUD stuff. Shockwave, okay. An additional shockwave. My deadly heal is there, that's good. You didn't get rid of that. Auto use item, thank you. Oh, so it was just exactly what I had before. <sighs> you scared me there, woman. Lady. That's gonna be... I'm not gonna be able to fit that in, am I? Yeah, that's too big. That's too big. Yikes. Alright. But she was helpful, so... What's that? I'm gonna buy some... Some more small recoveries. Because those are actually quite... Are quite useful. Uh, and I'll go... Some medium recoveries, too. Just cause. Just cause. I trust it. I need... Come back soon? Yeah. No problem. Hey there. I'm here for your weapon related needs. Upgrade. I can't upgrade. I need severed cable titanium alloys. Uh... These look like swords from other games. And I'm sad that I don't know the games. Don't be a stranger. We are strangers. We're not friends. Um, <laughs> just antagonistic. For no reason. Because I'm a robot. I don't. I don't have friends. Don't have human friends. 
I'm not a rumba. I don't form close connections with the people I work for. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me in! Oh, there we go. Manager. No, Nines, I actually ne do not want to talk to you. You said what at me once, and that was it. That was the last straw. Up ahead is the material storage site. Sorry, but it's off limits. Damn it. Alright, fine. Gentlemen, Oi. it must be tough having to spend every day of your life in combat. Nah, it's awesome. It's fucking cool, man. You wouldn't even know. What is 9S doing? Why is he constantly doing flips? You're not impressing me, 9S. You're just flipping around, being a freaking weirdo. Being a freaking weirdo. Keep doing that. Uh, what are my quests? What have I got? Nothing. I got no quests. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know, mate. Oh, never mind. Operator I know what I'll be 9S. doing. This is 9S. Go ahead. Can somebody speak to me? For 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B. 9S, we've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the Resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. Of course, we will prioritize it. Wee! Off we go. Off to save a couple of droids. Landing on the surface was quite fortuitous. Surely. Looks like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. You mean the sewers? The poop space? Where I f assume very few people have been pooping since humanity is no longer here and robots, last I checked, did not so poop. So, to be, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So, why would machines try to look like us? There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. I mean, it's not necessarily unsolvable. We just don't have all the information right now. So it would just fall to drawing conclusions that might not... That might cause us to be biased to the true answer. Which is that they just wanted their, you know their android version to look like a hot anime dude. Ayo, nice tunnel. Yeah, we got a nice sewer level. That's how you know it's a RPG of a sort. A JRPG. But we're in a sewer, so that is just the way. Is there anything up this way or just... Oh, there is more. Glad I didn't just leave. Plant seed. Oh, I need that for upgrading something. Upgrading my pod, I think. The fact that the android is hot is purely circumstantial. Yeah, it's a coincidence. Yeah, absolutely. The reason they made him hot, but also 
hot androgynous, and then also without uh, penis is definitely accidental. Um, <laughs> ah, it's circumstantial <laughs> at your service. Circumstantial. It's good to see you. What the fuck? I mean, that's super cool. Looks like Disneyland. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's a big old heart in the middle. Is this where Circumstantial lives? I assume so. We were just talking about him. So surely that's like foreshadowing to his introduction. He'll appear like an anime hero. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Amusement park. He live in the castle. He must do. Ah, oh, pull me back here. Nine S. What the fuck is this? What are those? What are those? Oh, what the? What the? Well, this is weird. Let's be happy together. Hello. This is strange. I just walked through that table, but it's not the weirdest thing I've seen so far. Bunch of androids just like, uh, dressed like court jesters. Uh, dancing around and generally having just a nice time. Which is very whimsical, which I do like. It's very cheerful. I'm a big fan of that. Just, just, I mean, really personifying the just a bunch of silly little guys, like, mentality that I really wanted to see personified. I've got mail, I haven't checked my mail in a while. Hi guys, how you doing? Hello. You're a very pretty machine with a dream. Oh, hello. Oh. Fuck you then. <laughs> you know what? Go fuck yourself then. How dare you. <laughs> she just didn't speak, want to speak to me. What an a-hole. Cute little robot uh, girl. Nothing. How is this like glowing and I can't pick it up? Oh, it's a shop. Oh. Shh, don't shout. Can I help you? What you got? Copper, iron, crystal, tree seeds, plant seeds, tree sap, and dye. And then I, <laughs> I ho hover over dye and then the like shop window closes and he's like, die. <laughs> and then he just punches me in the face. And tries to kill me. Drab bracelet obtained. Interesting. Uh, hello. What is going on? Re small recovery. I love a small recovery. Where does this corridor lead? Good question. Sketchy little corner. That leads out. And I see there's something over here. Hello, mate. How you dozen? Machine on a break. Break time! 
Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I love him. Just having a smoke break. Just having a ciggy. Don't mind me. Beep boop. Beep boop. Just having a smoke. Getting resistance signals from that building over there. Okay. Well, I assumed as much because, like, if you were going to do something, you know, evil, you'd probably want to do it somewhere kind of cool. Like a nice big location. Oh, check my inbox. Uh, never mind. Oh, shit. Uh, humanity scheduled correspondence. Attention all androids. Oh, yeah. This is just that Matt Mercer message. Six, uh, I'll pray to 60. Jupiter's fortunes. 2B! Have you heard of Jupiter's fortune telling? It's all It's all the girls over in R&D have been talking about lately. They say you can examine the color and shape of Jupiter's great red spot to learn about what kind of luck you'll have with health work and love. Sounds amazing, right? I'll try and let you know what I find out. Oh, dear. Uh, remember that message I sent you about Jupiter fortune telling? I had the girls in R&D do it for me, and I got the worst readings possible for health, work, and love. But that's when I realized something. That stuff is a bunch of occult crap. I mean, how, uh, how are you supposed to figure out your destiny by observing another planet? Ridiculous. I'll forge my destiny on my own. That's the truest desire for every your, your her woman anyway, right? Ha ha ha. Sad face. I love Operator 60. She's she's so great and she's like trying her best to be social with 2B and 2B's just like I don't care about you at all. We need a way through. Let's look around for a route we can take. Um But she's very good. She's just very friendly, and I like that. This guy's stuck between some tables and chairs. Just throwing out confetti, don't mind me. Uh, I'm gonna come back here because I, I left the the main path, and I don't know what else the other path had in store. Don't mind me. Sorry, mate. You you enjoy your ciggy break. Uh, is this back the way I came? Yes. And this gate won't open. So that's yeah, okay, cool. Maybe there's another route that will take us deeper inside. Maybe. Maybe not. There will be. We're not just like, oh, we'll go home. Fuck it. We can't get in. We'll just go back. Go back to base and say, sorry, we couldn't get in. The door was locked. So they really don't, like, like I said, just a hinge and a lock. It'll keep androids out. And it has. <laughs> we were repelled from this locked door. So clearly, it works. You don't need to blow up a door. That's why humans have died out because they didn't think about that. They just have been blowing up doors for hundreds of years and it's maybe the least ideal way of uh, keeping doors shut and opening doors. That's just from my educated opinion. Need to jump on this table. It's not a table. It's a thing. I can't open that. Damn it. I see a little chest and I'm just like, I want to open it. I want to touch it. I want to touch this chest. And the game's like, don't bother. It cannot be unlocked. Not by the likes of you. Not by the likes of you. Not even slightly. I know what I need to do. It's a jumping puzzle, but not really a jumping puzzle. I mean, I hope it's a jump. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Yippee! Nice work, 9S. You suck. Huh. Uh. 
Oh god. No. That way. Let me go that way. Let me go. It's not the other one, is it? I want to get to that chest. <laughs> no! Nah! Damn it. Oh, that was close. No, I don't want to adjust your combat style. I want to get over there and touch that chest. Free me, beast. How do I get over there? <laughs> oh, that wasn't that was a mistake. That right. Oh, that was close. And now I'm down. I'm down on the ground again. <gasps> the jumping controls are... I mean, with this specific camera, a bit... A bit jank. I was going to say it. A bit jank. Oh, you didn't jump straight. You're controlling me jump the direction at which I jump. I have no control over that. Oh, well, you didn't jump straight enough. Fuss? I'm sorry, what do you mean? I didn't jump straight. You're controlling the move. The little movements I am making, that's on you. machine. Dangerous beyond here. Broken. Junk. Danger. Okay. Onward I go. So this is... These robots will be hostile. machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. Uh, I don't know about that 9S. They seem pretty chill. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna... I'll put my cock on the block for that one. I think it'll be okay. I don't think we have anything to worry about here. If we come back and they're hostile, then sure, you can say I told you so. But do you really think it's a good idea to leave that tank behind? Yeah. If they aren't hostile, fighting them is a waste of time. You wouldn't know that because you're not cool like me. To be. What's this? Analysis. It is a device that propels humans on rails at high speeds for the purposes of amusement. It was commonly referred to as a roller coaster. Yeah. Humans sure are strange creatures. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Hey, 2B? Yes? People who know me well usually call me Knives, so... We're not uh, friends. So what do you think? I mean, if you want to call me nines, it's totally okay. You don't have friends. I'm good. Oh. Yeah, sorry, um, mate, but... All right. We're not really mates. Oh. Jesus. Oh, 
It's like Smash Brothers. I don't actually know which one I am. My free stuff. We made it. Alert. Multiple resistance members detected beneath this room. The... Oh, there's one. Just gonna absorb them into my system. Yum yum yum. Auto heal one obtained. Nice. I've got that. So don't need it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. We're down here. That's my favorite part of the amusement park. Yeah, when we find all our dead friends. Uh, strapped to a belt on a big woman. A big robot woman. Bonjour. I assume... What the hell? She is Our hostile. Don't say anything about a machine like this. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh. Thank you, 9S, for taking the heat for me. Oh, shit. Oh. Just going close. Oh. I also don't have my sword equipped because I'm in. I'm a fool. There you go. Shit, 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 shit. Take that. Oh, what the hell is going on? Why is it taking my camera? Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that it's taking my camera. Hated that. That was Big Woman is my favorite. Big Woman is my favorite too. Big Woman has to be my favorite genre. Oh, what the shit! I don't know what hacking is, but. Hacking complete. I am a hacker. It's trying to hack us. If we take hacking damage, it'll affect our bodies as well. Okay. Well, I'm freaking really badly injured. <laughs> Mini caves, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah. If we Those take hacking like damage. Corpses. Yeah. You catch on quick, don't you? <laughs> no, yes. Those are the corpses. Oh my god. Are you seriously being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think. 2B, I'm detecting black box signals. They are dead. They've been turned into weapons. All right, this ends now. Shit. Hacking damage. Ooh. Fucking hate that. Just 
have fucking... Good. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. It's the safest you could be, maybe. Oh, get up in the air. I've almost analyzed the enemy's hacking pattern. I'm going Heck. to try to hack it back. Uh, it picked a good time you to get it. here. Got here right before boss fight. Welcome. We are boss fighting. Oh, that's actually. Shit, 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 shit. Destroy it quickly, mainly to serious damage in memory regions. Uh, that's annoying. Whatever that means. My brain! It's frying my vision. Oh, thank you, camera. Yes, thank you, camera. I, I definitely meant to go there. Just for a big woman. Just in time for a big woman. We love a big woman. We love a big woman here. Ugh! Hacking damage. I don't want it. Oh, fucking hell. I don't want hacking damage. Leave the fucking hacking damage alone. Stop it. I was so fucking lucky, like, to avoid that. Oh, yes, target her. Get a penis. Oh, ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, that was really annoying. Uh, just continue. Oh. I don't like how it changed camera, like, like camera angle during the fight. That really like messed me up. But okay, that's a doable fight. I can do that. That I can do. Are we seriously being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think. Two B, I'm detecting blood. Uh, retrieve. I know I can. They were dead. They've been turned into weapons. Yes. I, I do hate auto camera. Oh, yeah, it's, this ends it's now. just it's just a little frustrating, you know. Especially for bits where it's like you kind of feel like some of the auto, like the camera movement, is so that they can kind of get you. Like it's doing it now, but it's like. So when you're new to a fight, it's like, oh, we can get you with a hit that'll definitely cause damage and stuff. And it's a little, yeah, like that. It's just, so I can definitely hit you. It's just like, I don't like that. And I, oh, and I don't like how close it is because now it's going to be really hard to avoid attacks.
hit something? I don't know. I have no idea. Ah, fucking. That one was fine. It's tough in bullet hell. Yeah, yeah. And like, if I get used to it, it'll be fine. Skill issue, I guess. Well, yeah, skill issue by game design. I can play that too. I can do that too. I know I wasn't attacking, that's definitely a skill issue. Skill issue thing for me. That I can admit. Oh, I'm blinded. Blinded to the world around me. Happy New Year! Oh, Happy New Year, Glenn! Hello! New mic sounds good. Oh, thank you! Get his penis! Huh. Oh. oh, shit! Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. That just pushed me into a corner, you. Ah, fuck. I just try to stay alive right now because things are things are a bit precarious, a bit higgledy piggledy. At least Fury is. Oh, good. But the game is a bit loud in comparison. That's fair. I might knock it down a bit. Uh, Grey Mass sounds crisper than Ocean Fresh Nugs. That's true. That is true. I sound pretty crisp. <gasps> Backstory. It's like Demon Slayer. I learned something about my enemy that made me sympathize for them. The music is and sound is quite loud, I do admit, though. Yeah, but she's dead. <laughs> she's motherfucking oh, dead. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Yeah. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. Yeah, I've happy new year, Glenn. Anytime. I hope you're doing well. I hope your new year has started off really well. She just she wasn't just a giant woman. Androids. Yeah. She was a giant woman with a soul. She was a giant mother. Yes. A working mum. Uh, who I'm loves sorry, her job, TV. loves her kids. Their circuits are fried. I think they were only being kept alive by that enemy. Oh, that's oh. tragic. Maybe it started with you getting COVID. Ah, shit. That's rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, is it? Is that the first time you've gotten COVID, or is this like second, third time? If it's first, that's definitely very unlucky. Second or third, ah, it's just, it's just how it is, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. Bad start, yeah, definitely. I mean, not ideal at the very least. Actually, how's my health? Good. My health is good. My health is crisp. Crisp like me, Grey Mouse, and my mic. 
Uh, I'm gonna just turn the sound down, just because it is still quite a bit loud. It's definitely loud for me as well. Uh, second, I believe, last year's have been kind of a blur. That's fair. Yeah. The past few years have been pretty um, eventful. So I can definitely understand that you can't, if you can't remember your first COVID. Um, my, f I, I think I got COVID la first for the first time so, last um, year at Christmas. So I could definitely it? empathize with you. The machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I, I guess. Do you pick up your chips from your dead body and re-equip them? Uh, right, yes, I did. I did do that. Don't worry. Got that taken care of. That did happen. Found my body, picked it up. I didn't repair my body. I just re-equipped my chips and, and recovered my things. I know that much from the game. Like, I think I... I remember watching, for all you Australians out there, I remember watching Good Game Spawn Point when Barjo talked about playing Near Automata. I mean, globally eventful, individually kind of <laughs> dull, yeah. Globally eventful, individually kind of dull, yeah. What a show, oh yeah. Fantastic show. This is an elevator. Yes, I'm not going to take it because I feel... Like I don't need to? Question mark. It was so good. Uh, I miss it to this day. I know. I know Barjo streams. I know Barjo lives in Adelaide, actually, which is kind of uh, cool. <laughs> oh, he's... no! Look at him! Look at him! This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. We repay you. Come to our village. Uh, I'll go to the village. Yeah, why not? It could be a trap. Still, yeah. we should at least head over there and gather data, right? Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. And in the village. We're actually just like following him. Okay. Follow me. Hold on, I'm just grabbing this. Don't mind me, little guy. Where are you? You're over there. <laughs> this way. This way. Beep beep. No, oh, he's taking us down an alley. Ooh, I don't know. Don't know how I feel now. I feel like he's tricking me. He's gonna beat me up. Oh. Up he goes. He's gonna just beat us up. 9S. That's ah, not good. Gonna get you. Gonna catch you. Beep beep. We, I am a flying robot. It is this my way. way. This way. This way. Follow me. You're gonna love the place. What's We've that? really set up. Oh, right. Oh, you wouldn't have seen that before. The cool stuff. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space after all. Huh. No makes sense. That tracks. We've got a really cool Jenga space. We love Jenga here in space. I mean, in Robot Village. The world design looks really cool. Yeah, I love it. It's really like... So why don't the machines, <gasps> or the aliens who created them, attack the bunker directly? Please. They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories Whoop. about that, but no one knows for sure. Um, Hard to tell what an alien yeah, is Yeah, it's really thinking, like you know? quite majestic. I say as I really struggle to jump. Where'd he go? Where are you? Robot. Robit. Free me. Uh, okay. Okay. What were you doing? I was waiting for such a long time. I was worried you may have hurt yourself. 
buddy. Ooh. Welcome. We are... <laughs> we are scared. We do not wish for you to cause us any harm. Mercy, please do not kill us. We beg of you. Cool, I'm going, gonna go this way and explore. Explore the forest just a little bit. Bye guys, where are they going? Please come back, we had need of you. We are desperate for help. Oh, he. Oh, she is gone. She just up and left. What a bitch. <laughs> keep leaving. Oh, keep leaving? Alright. No, please come back. Do not listen to Loki. Loki is trying to lead you astray. He is going to make you... Fall off a cliff, and then he will say skill issue. Go a little further there. Oh, there's, there's a door that I can open. A little shortcut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is. We can get into the city ruins if we move that box. We? More like I. You're not doing fucking shit, mate. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. There is a shortcut there. Loki was actually trying to lead you not astray, but the opposite of that. We do not have a word for it in robot or English. There is no word for the opposite of astray. <laughs> oh, you are back. They all have white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. I mean, yeah. Hello. Oh. Before we begin, there's something you must understand. We want We're to kill you. Oh. Okay. Be. The opposite. We can't trust anything the You'd be surprised said. how often I'm actually I'm trying to lead you down the right path. You always are trying to lead me down the right path. Well, I just wanted to get. Oh, I just want to have a, a, a wee joke and gaff. <laughs> Pascal. Thank you, Pascal. Please be calm. We are not your enemy. Please be calm. We are not your enemy. Okay. Uh, not always the most direct path, but we'll get there. Yeah. Ooh. I thought that was in the game for a second, but no, it's my it's my own. Oh, this one's got a little bit of makeup. Machine with makeup. Ah, John Paul. Jean Paul. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, please be calm, we are not your enemy. We will not fight. Okay. I trust you. We are not your enemy. <laughs> I cannot wave the flag. I have no a arms. We surrender. We surrender. Please be calm. Okay. I assume... Ooh. Free stuff. No. My bottle cap collection. The white flag means we surrender. We do not mean to fight. Sorry. Just trying to get past you. It's a lot of you. Oh, look at that cute little guy up there. Hold on, I want to go talk to them. Oh, we will not fight. Who are you? Cutie. Machine life form. We will not. Oh. It's got a pretty normal line of dialogue for them. Ooh. 
Uh, can't unlock that. So, just gonna continue to spin. Go down. Because I know I gotta talk to Pascal in a second. But I am kinda just curious to see what this space has to offer in terms of stuff. Thinguses and gear. The white flag means we surrender. Yes, the white flag means we surrender. Who are you? You got a little bow. A quest! Big sister machine. Um, excuse me. Can you please help me? I need to find my little sister. She is lost. Sure. And it's all my fault. Okay. I already said I will help you. It seems she overheard me complaining about how one of the one of my parts was starting to seize up. So she went off to the desert to in search of a replacement. Oh dear. Jean Paul is another robot, by the way. Ah, oh, that makes sense. It's been days now, and she's still not back. Please, you have to help me pay. Help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. Sure. I'll find her. Oh, he's a big she guy. She sure cares about her little sister, huh? Still, it's pretty funny to hear machines talk about siblings. Do you think she just means they were built at the same factory or something? Maybe. Yes. I want to talk to you. We do not want to fight. Yes. Alright, I will talk to... Um, Pascal. My brain was now just thinking, RuPaul. And I'm just like... Nope. I'm terrible with names. So it was going to be wrong. Animal bait. Let me down. I am not a robot like you. I am an android. It is not my way to <laughs> beg for forgiveness. You know we already have something of a relationship with you androids. Okay. In fact, I'm hoping you can take this to Anemone in the Resistance camp. What is it? It is a fuel filter that she requested. If you take it to her, it should make it clear that we are peaceful. We are peaceful. We are a pre peaceful group. Wow, I cannot read. All right. I mean, all right. <laughs> Doing all the voices. You gotta give me, <laughs> give me a little leeway. Gotta trust that I, I mean well. And this way will get us back quicker. Yippee. Damn cheeks. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just running and seeing the skirt lift. Uh, 6 0? Time for your regularly scheduled contact. You okay? <laughs> you okay? Why are you crying? You're Do a robot. Here. What's wrong? Oh. There's this operator uh. I kind of liked, but when I asked her out, she turned me down. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to go what? on living. I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. I don't think I can stand spending one more day in this bunker. I love how the game looks. You uh, it's would be all bad distinct, but still looks part of the same world. Yeah, efficiency. it is really like seamlessly flows into itself. Uh, I didn't hear you, but I heard my name. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I said cry. All combat units require the assistance of an operator. So, to be. That's all. Closing this channel. I wasn't paying attention to that. Did we have a heart to heart with the girl that I've done nothing but ignore? Uh. Oh no, you got turned down. I just had to kill scores of our co-workers that were puppeted by a giant robot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You real, like, first world problems there, lady. No, she tried to, you know, just kind of... And you just kind of went, not my job. Oh, okay. 
good. I don't do heart to hearts. I'm a cold, unfeeling android. That for some reason just has a really <laughs> thick booty. I don't know why, but hey, I'm not an engineer, so I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to create a robot. Do I have to go up? Do I have to ascend? Maybe. Uh, because the director like hot women, that's his reason. You know what, fair enough. Oh yeah, sorry, I just realized I, I remember a meme that I saw where it's like explaining why Quiet is half naked and it's like this big wall of text and explaining why uh, why 2B looks the way she does and it's just like, I like hot women. There she is, hello. Is there an easier way to get up? If not, then... Let me... Nope. That's not correct of me. Um, yeah. Just like hot women. And I was like, you know what? Fair enough. I can't, you know, I can't disagree with that. I can't hate on that. That is undoubtedly a reason. If I can get over there, then it should be easy for me to... Right idea, wrong spot. Yeah, I thought as much. So, I get up here, float down to there. I mean, I can also get... Ah, shit. I can still get up from here. It's fine. It's fine. <gasps> let me up. Let me up. Let, let me up. It's, there we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, game. I want a piece. All right, we're up. We're high. Don't worry, little girl. We'll get to you. Huh. Go. I fully expected myself to get... Nah, this, this is also not as high. the wrong spot too. My assume... Me assuming this is likely the wrong spot? Probably. I feel like in all likelihood I just need to get to a high spot and then I just descend. Where is high around here? trees over there, but I feel like from there that's not going to be... Oh, maybe I could do it if I double jump and then... Nope, that was probably the wrong thing to do. Let me up. There we go. Yeah, I thought so. thought there would be stuff here. Oh, that's cool. Oi! Stop it, mate. Can't target him. That's... Yeah, my target... Okay, now it's working. Thanks. That was weird. That's high up, but just very far away. So I doubt that's it, too, either. I'm going to be shooting at you guys, I'm sorry, but like that's just kinda how it is. Not super accurate. I don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Literally just almost walked straight off. Because I can't seem to, like, get up here. It will just invisible wall me. 
So in theory, this is the closest highest spot for surely. Unless I can get up there, but I don't think so. Oh shit, that was just on me. I just let go. Just straight up let go. That's on me. lead anywhere. Can I just shout over to you? <laughs> Little robot girl. Go home. <laughs> ah, shit. No, I'm not getting high enough. Is there a higher spot? Is that a spot that I can reach? Is that attainable? Dash, dash mid. Oh, okay. So jump, dash, jump. Glide. Jump, dash, dump. <laughs> Just jump, dash, dump, glide. Cool. Damn it. It's literally just there. Give it to me. Yes, God. <laughs> Okay. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Loki. You're not that little girl. It's a level 20 pro fighter. Not that she'll also be shooting. Ow. He's a pro warrior. Quick, get out of his way. Dodo, he'll, he can smell fear. Little bro can't be staggered. Get out of his way. No, don't let him, don't let him hit you. Don't let him come near you. Oh, he's dead. I love this quest chain. That's, I mean, that... Father Servo. Hehehe. <laughs> Not too shabby at all. I am the warrior monk, Father Severo, and I serve the enlightened path through perfection in battle. Father Sever oh, sorry, Father Servo. But alas, there was only so much Father Servo is capable of on his own. Perhaps you would be so good as to aid a fellow on his spiritual journey. I'm not sure we should be helping a machine with combat training. Oh ho ho, fear of the unknown clouds your mind, young one. What's in it for us? Father Sever shall impart upon you all of his secret battle arts. <laughs> More like battle farts, sorry. Uh, I don't know, 2B, this seems pretty suspicious. What do you think? Let's help him. The heavens smile upon Father Sever on this day. Now then, shall uh, let us start with a light round of sparring. Quick, back off. He's dangerous. He's a real dangerous guy. He is a master of all forms of combat. Watch out, his strike is deadly. Enough, Father Server you yields. I don't. Uh, I don't think this guy is as tough as he lets on. He was pretty tough. Well, it was a nice workout, at least. Nice. Yes. Well, good for you. Now then, as payment for your lesson, you must bring Father Servo a wiped, a warped wire. What? Listen, you didn't say anything about brute. We sparred. Yes, you learned many things. Yes, and then surely an annulment. Uh, emol. 
Emil Lumens. Lumen? Is to be expected. This guy is shameless. You should be able to retrieve a warped wire from the dinosaur-like machines roaming around nearby. Bring it here before our next bout, if you would be so kind. Have you brought the required item? Do I have one? Ah, excellent. Now we can engage in a new form of training. Father Servo will accept your challenge whenever you feel ready. For a fee, of course. Of course. Whoa! Small gear, weapon attack, up chip. Oh, wow! That was actually pretty, like, useful. Like, that was quite fortuitous. <laughs> nice! Oh, hold on. I don't have a lot of space. So, I probably can't go add in chips. And if I want to add chips, which, like, weapon attack up may, like, probably is a good idea. But I'll want to do that once I've saved. Okay. <laughs> Onward. We return. We continue into the desert. I can go talk to him later. Talk to him again. Ah, okay. I'll go back. I'll go back. Servo, can you put some stairs in? <laughs> can you install some stairs? I mean, now that I know how to get across, it's not actually that bad, but... Just get an elevator. It's always worth sparring with when you can. Ah, uh, okay. That's fair enough, then. If you recommend it, then I believe it. Alright. Jump. Jump. Whoa. Yay! We're across. 9S didn't make it, though. Coest. Wait a second. <laughs> Back for more, child. Be warned. Father Servo has used your precious gift to make himself stronger than ever. Would you like to test yourself against this new modification? Spa with Father Servo. Time is a great wheel, yet do not expect things to transpire as they did when we last met. Oh Jesus! What a guy! I mean, it leaves him quite vulnerable to attacks. This one, more so than the previous. Like, the previous one, definitely. He is stronger though, so. Oh, there's a new attack. I think he's a little confused right now. Oh, there we go. Be back. He moving. He moving. He's coming for me. He's coming out to me. There you go. He this father servo. Get him! Get him! Get him while his back is turned! Get him! <laughs> Beat him up! Ooh. Get him! <laughs> Get him! He's taking a beating, holy shit, he's really taking a beating. You have strengthened yourself physically, and I assume your mind is also stronger. 
Very impressive for the servo. Oh, jeez, you're real close there. Oh, jeez, you got real close there. That was me being careless, too. Father Servo would not approve. My great teacher, Father Servo. Mate, are you... Are you Terrier to get yeah stop no more. Phew, you happy now? Let us discuss the fee. <laughs> oh come on, you're the one who wanted to test. Would you truly refuse a single request from this old monk? Okay, I mean, okay, don't even start with me. Father Servo surrendered all worldly possessions and took numerous vows. Yet you would deny him even a simple request. All right, all right, fine. What do you want this time? One memory alloy and one broken circuit. The world moves on ever on, my child. Do not dawdle. Would you stop calling me that already? Target location data obtained. Marking on map. <laughs> do I have it? Do I have what he needs? What he desires? One memory alloy and one broken circuit will be a payment enough for the lesson you received. Oh, okay, I don't have one. Cool, I'll see you in a bit then. And this time... Yeah! I have gained... Wait a second, I didn't level up. He didn't teach me shit this time. I do feel stronger though. I do feel stronger though. Like, he actually really did boost the shit out of me. What a guy. What a cool dude. I love him. I hope his final request by Black Belt is like, I would like a kiss on the cheek, because I want to give that to him. ...for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. It has been several millennia since the aliens and their advanced force, the machine life forms, attacked us. Millennia since mankind was Matt forced Mercer? to evacuate to the surface of the moon. At this Denny's? What are but you doing here? To your continued struggle, we have been able to survive. You, our android soldiers. This is like a recorded message. Isn't it? We look forward and like to all humans on the moon are like dead or something. Glory to mankind. Glory to Astotska. Hello. Jackass? Oh, hey there. Listen, just ignore that guy. Selfish fool refuses to help me with my work. See, I'm doing a study on the excitement levels of androids while in battle. Okay. But I need to record combat data for the newest models in order to reach more steady conclusions. So what you think? Fun, right? I'll help you. Alright, good to know. Not everyone around this joint is a spineless hunk of crap. Here, follow me. All right. Hold on, let me save. Don't go too far, jackass. <laughs> jackass! Don't you go too... Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's not that far. Move All it. All right, see that jerk over there? I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. <laughs> now, fight! Okay. Oh, he's dead. Requested mission completed. Jagas, you owe me money. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was great. Did you know that android battle fever is actually quite a si quite similar to the human emotion of love? Uh, okay. Uh, so if we want to know what all those human records are always going on about, uh, all we need to do is let our fists fly. Makes the whole thing feel more romantic, don't you think? Not really. <laughs> that feels uh, sketchy. I still don't have enough data. I could use some more help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I need you to wipe out those enemies over there without any taking any damage, like at all. Zero, zip, nada. Ah, shit. Okay. Now it's time for a fight. In the name of science.
just staying away from them as much as possible. Ines, you take this for me. You take all the, the heat. Oh, shit. I didn't take damage. It's all good. Ooh, that was close, though. That was real close. I almost freaking took damage. Yes, I love you, your Hagoons. I really do. Just look at all that, all this data. Speaking of your Hagoons, I'm a bit surprised you types are so intellectual. Okay. I thought combat models would be more dense. A bit more dense, less thinking, more killing and all that. Frankly, giving you any kind of intellect at all strikes me as pointless. Oh, Jesus. Thanks for being so fucking rude. Pay me. More data. I need more data. And you're going to help me, right? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. Oh, I don't like her attitude. But I want the cash. Still haven't had enough, huh? I like you. You got guts. Metaphorically speaking, of course. We're going to take out these enemies over there in 30 seconds or less. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Now it's time to fight in the name of science. Oh, up in the air. I don't think I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm literally not doing anything. It's like Smash Brothers. I didn't know who I was. Ah, shit. Are you serious about that or what? Come on already. Piss off. This person named Jackus is being rude. How dare. Well, I mean like... Yeah. I know. The name is Jackass. But that doesn't make it okay. Just because my name is... Like, just because someone's named poops on babies doesn't mean that it's okay for them to poop on babies. You know? Just because their name tells you who they are doesn't mean that it's their attitude is in any way okay. Ah, Jesus. Get it up, for fuck's sake, just get up. Requested mission completed. Yeah. Pay me. Holy crispy crap on a stick. Now this is data. Here, look at this. See this reaction? It proves that Android braids contain an algorithm which allows them to derive pleasure from battle. Without that, we'd probably have stopped fighting a long time ago. What a brutally efficient piece of evolution. It's not evolution, it's design. Fuck you, jackass. It's possible that this is based on an identical pleasure center in the human brain. Man, those flesh bags really were something. <laughs> I just need a teensy bit more data. You look like you've got nothing better to do, so give me a hand here. Fine. Excellent, you're the best guinea pig a gal could ask for. This should be the last bit of data I need. I prefer when that doctor calls me a guinea pig in uh, Persona. Oh, God. Oh, fucking... <laughs> well, that's over. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, jackass. Fuck you, jackass. I hate you. You did that to me. <laughs> you did that to me. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I don't actually need to be saying that. Retrieve. Restore my things. Thank you. Fuck you, jackass. 
Enjoy standing out in the desert like a dumb idiot. I'll be back. I'll be back, but just not now. I'm too annoyed <laughs> with her. I have no motivation to help her with her research. Because she was rude to me. She was mean to me. And I'm not in the business of helping people who are rude to me. Oh, get it. Oh, this isn't the right way. Though it could be. I need map. I need map. Okay. <laughs> map no, map no helpy. Map making me make me confused. I've been asked to locate a machine's little sister who went to the desert looking for repairs. Yes. Fuck you, jackass. You're my enemy, jackass. This isn't where I want... Uh, no, this isn't where I want to be. I need to find a way to the plains. And there is a way to the plains, and it's much easier than going this way. These guys are fucking hilarious. Look at them. They're just like sitting about, scrungling about. Little goofy guys. It's starting to, like, the dots are starting to connect. Why Jackass didn't just open the door, just blew it up instead. Because they're a jerk. Now it's all making sense. Because they're an unlikable prick. Hi. Oh. oh. What? No. <laughs> yeah. Unlikable jackass. Who would have guessed? We all could have. And yet we didn't. <laughs> no, we did. We knew. We knew jackass was jackass. Um, hello there. Hello? Testing, testing. Uh, Pascal? Is that? is that you? Yes. Uh, 9F. Yes, it is me. Many apologies for the How'd you get my number? I heard that you were searching for the missing child, yes? Well, if you would, please consider this a personal request for myself as well. Go find the child as quickly as you can. She's such a good little girl, and so fond of her sister. She's probably somewhere around the desert at the moment. That's where she's likely to find the dented plate her sister needs. Got it. Thank you so much. And please be careful, all right? If this turns out to be like a real girl, uh, I'm going to be <laughs> mad. No. It's just a real little girl. A human. What are you doing here? I'm looking for metal. But you're human. You should be on the moon. That's where humans go. The moon. Yeah. We slide and the little girl is around about here, somewhere near this sand. <laughs> Ancient mask. That's cool. Is that?
Yo, what's up? Got some copper. Hey there, are you the machine who came out here looking for spare part for a spare part? Huh? Who are you? Your sister asked us to look for you. She did? Really? Well, she is a real little girl. Yeah, she is. Really? So what do you say we head home? Wow, I was so scared. Oh, my heart. Right. Let's get her back to Pascal's village. How'd you get lost out here anyway? I was looking for my sister's part. But then I got scared. <laughs> oh, come on now. Don't cry. Did you at least find what you needed? Yeah. She'll be happy, right? I'm sure she will. <laughs> but I bet she'll be even happier to see you back home safe and sound. We made three steps. Come on. Let's make some pace. Little girl. Such a pity. No one made the desert. It's just an area that lost all its vegetation due to a lack of precipitation. This caused lasting changes in the soil, which means plants aren't able to... What's soil? Soil? Uh, it's dirt. Ground. The stuff we're walking on? Oh, I like ground. Oh. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. No, leave her alone. Don't touch this little girl. No, oh, camera. Camera. Leave the little girl alone. Hey, mister. What does the wind blow from? Wind is just a force caused by changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure and... Huh. That's actually a hard question now that I think about it. Kind of deep, really. I mean, where does the wind blow from? What do you think, 2B? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I love the movements, especially in the desert. Yeah. Oh. Another one going after the little girl. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Shut up, nerd. Yeah. <laughs> My classic go-to line. Shut up, nerd. Shut up, nerd. Where does wind come from? It comes from the fucking sky. 9S. I don't need to draw you a diagram for that. Hey, mister. How do you make children? Um, well, machines can't really make children. Neither can androids, now that I think about it. Uh, to be? Little help here? No. You're the chatty one. Work it out. Oof. Hey, mister, mister, wait. You gotta tell me how you make you. Wow, it's getting late. Let's get you home already. What a question. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Leave her alone. No, oh, fucking... Leave the little girl alone, you fucking asshole. She's just a child. He's not dead. Oh, he's dead now. Good. Ruffians. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna go home, walk faster. Is 
Dragon's Hand Crawler. They will return, and in greater numbers. Okay. <laughs> it's the metal I was going to use to repair my sister. See ya. Get home safe. Um, that was weird. <laughs> well, that was exhausting. Yep. Can you imagine? We just see an explosion. She's just been destroyed. Just going through this tunnel. Give us just the slightest amount of independence and she just cannot be trusted with it. Thinking I might end stream soon. We might just head da head back to that village and collect a reward. Uh, and then we shall raid out. How much of that did you get? Uh, you don't want to wear the pretty ribbon? Can I wear the ribbon? <gasps> um... <laughs> I can wear it? Ribbon, pink ribbon. Pink ribbon. I could. Oh, key, I think. There it is. Adorable. I am a beautiful anime woman. Fantastic. This game is the best. <laughs> this is the best game I've ever played. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I like it. Bonjour. Okay. Done and dusted. There wasn't anything here, but that's okay. Oh, that is okay. Oh, this. I'm staring at just a random corner. Don't mind me. Is this how we get out of the desert? No, probably not. But it does have sweet loot. Ranged attack up. Ooh. Love to see it. Oh, and there's stuff over here. I've managed to stumble across some cool good shit. So, may as well be here. This guy's running over here like he's got a, on a mission. I must kill you. I thought there was one of them hiding. Silver ore. Oh, cool. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It's good to get out of the rain. Da 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 Hello. You got free stuff? This lady with a bow on her head's just stealing from us. Get her. Jump her. Anything up here? Does not look like it. Fair enough. They're just curious about the rock formation. They're just checking out for fun. I'll deal with Jackass another time. I feel like 
this last like data request is going to take me a few attempts so I'm going to just leave it for now I lack the skill I lack the skill to do it in one single movement so we're going to leave it I'm going to collect the reward from the robot village and then we're going to raid out and then we're going to fall asleep fall asleep and maybe eat some porridge because <laughs> I didn't eat my oats this morning so I'm just, I've got a nice little dessert instead my protein oats they contain protein and oats and a little bit of milk <laughs> so I need that shit I need that shit in my system because I've got weak baby bones. Baby bones and baby muscles. So I need that, I need that sweet, sweet protein. <laughs> you can tell by the way I talk, I'm just a weak baby man. Baby mouse man. Just the noises of like <laughs> as I would like step through. This time, oh, there's a new mission as well. Oh, pick that up as well. Oh, two new missions, sweet. Pick those up while I'm here. Oh God, Jesus, bloody camera. Hi. I don't know who I'm looking for. Ah, damn it. Where she's over here. Yes. Big sister machine, and she's the smaller one. That's hilarious. I love that. Thank you for bringing my sister home. I'm feeling much better thanks to the to the part she found. Please take this. Blue ribbon. Ah, uh, 500G, 750 experience. Yippee! I like the pink one though. I like the pink one better. So I'm gonna keep the pink one. Co West. Wait a second. That's jackass. Or just some woman. Oh, it's just a resistance member. member. Ah. Oh, no. Sorry, is something wrong? Mercy, please, just let us go. Um, I think there might be some kind of misunderstanding here. You mean you aren't here to arrest us? Oh, dear. No. Wait, why do you think I'd arrest you? We deserted the resistance. You what? We just want to find a place where the two of us can live our lives in peace. Is that so wrong? Please don't tell anyone that we're here. Please. We're not with the resistance. We're your, we're your heart. We don't have any obligation to report you to our superiors. To your superiors. Thank goodness. Still, if you guys stay here, they're going to find you eventually. We don't have a choice. My locomotion functions have been damaged. We don't have the necessary materials to perform repairs. Uh, I don't suppose you can bring us the materials we need. Huh? Who, us? We can't get them ourselves. If we leave this place, we'll be found, for certain. I know it's a lot to ask, but we promise to reward you. Please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. We just need an elaborate... We need an elaborate gadget to conduct the repairs. I saw one near the abandoned factory. Thank you again. We know you can do this. Well, we are your only hope, so... Yeah. You'd hope we can do this. Oh, missed. Oh. I just have to touch it. And then I... Climb. Touch it and climb. It is the way. Quick save. There's one more mission to collect, and then we will... Uh, raid out. I love just... Where the hell is it? Is it you? Is it you? No. It's Quest Boy over here. Quest. It's Quest Boy, machine with a hat. Existence precedes essence. Um. Man is nothing else but what he makes of himself. Additionally. Um, hello? Yes, and you are? 
Wait, don't tell me. I've already deduced that you are here to listen to me expound upon the great mysteries of existence. Well, enough. Let us begin by discussing the concept of existentialism. Essence and existence are two sides of the same coin. And yet, what is existence? I'm glad you asked. To answer that will require many long hours of... This is pointless. Ah, oh, thanks, Correa. There's no point in talking to Jean-Paul. We stopped trying to figure him out a while ago. Why is he fancy? Sorry. All he does is spout a bunch of mumbo-jumbo about something called philosophy. If you're curious about him, you'll have better luck talking to his followers. They tend to use smaller words, at least. This guy has followers? More like, fa more like fans, I suppose. But yes, there are quite a few out there who buy what he's selling. Don't ask me why. Some folks just get into that sort of thing, I suppose. There's even one Jean-Paul follower right here in this village. I've met him. You know the machine with the thick paint on the, her face? That's the one. I know her. Okay, cool. With that, we shall do some raiding. End the stream. Uh, and move on. Hold on, I might just... Oh. Just do a quick save. And now let us make haste. <laughs> let us go. Who's live tonight? Cozy Ooh, Cozy Bob is playing Firewatch, which is a game I hugely enjoy. Um I am almost compelled on that night all. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Loki, for being here. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you have a good and easy trip uh through to Canada, if you aren't already in Canada already. Oh, she's right at the start. Perfect. Uh this is one of my favorite games of all time. It always makes me cry. Plays Creed for outro. <laughs> That'd be good. Play some copyright mu music. Oh, you're home? Excellent. I'm very glad to hear it. Um, but anyway, with that said, uh, I will see you all on Sunday for some more comic stream. But thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It's really great to, to be playing near and great to be back a little bit. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, I will see you when I see you guys next.